This instructional video is for September 30th, 2021, and we are going to be talking about the pen tool, and we are going to be talking about Monster Trace. You can see your current assignment in Google Classroom. Uh, you do have two days to complete this assignment. I will end this video where, video where I think it's a good spot for you to stop on day one. To get started, we will open up the assignment in Google Classroom, and we will want to download our image page. And after I've downloaded it, I'm going to come to Photo P and I am going to open the document. All right, so the final monster that we're trying to create is something that looks similar to this guy right here. I have provided you with a template for the mouth, the antennas, I'm sorry, the teeth, the antennas, and the mouth, but not the body and not the eyeball, not the, I'll say, um, like little accents, and not background color and background shape. So some of this you can personalize. We are looking for the overall shape of the monster to be very similar, but you'll probably notice even when I do mine, that there will be some variation. Uh, you are also free to come up with the color combinations that you would like to use. So to get started, I am going to create a new layer, and this is going to be my mouth layer. Now, this will be one of the first times that we are working with fill as well as stroke, but I am still going to recommend that you start with turning your fill off and only having a stroke. Um, so I'm going to change my fill color. Um, I'm going to... In the long run, I'm going to change this to white, but to make it easier for you to see on my screen, I am going to use blue. So I have my pen tool. All right, so I have my mouth. I'm going to create a new layer. I'm sorry, my teeth. And I'm going to go ahead and do an antenna. I will need to create a new layer for each antenna. And I'm going to go over and I'm going to do my mouth. Now you can see here's where we're going to need to use some of our shortcut keys. So I'm going to use Alt to come back on that mouth. Control. Alt and then control over here. Uh, it looks like, according to their directions, I might have done something different because I don't have that handle. And it is hard because this is not originally designed for photo P, but we can make it work in photo P. I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create an extra handle right here to help me get this point. I'm going to use the Alt key to come down to here and then back to the beginning. 
So you can see I did add an extra point, and you're welcome if you need to along the way to add an extra point or two. Um, we are not robots. Our goal is, you know, not necessarily to be proficient at tracing, but these exercises are to help you learn to use the tools. So here's where it gets really adventurous. We are going to be using the pen tool to create kind of the body of this monster. And I'm very visual, so I need to see it as I'm trying to make it. And like I said, I don't expect your body to look exactly like this. Um, let's see, so I'm going to start with this corner maybe. Oh, failed to make a new layer. Don't worry if you go off the screen. So this is kind of the top of his head. I need to adjust that point for sure. Coming and making his big old cheek. I wanted that to be curved more. So I'm going to come back with my path selection and clean a few areas up. So I want to bring, oh my. I don't know why it's doing that for sure. Hmm. I just wanted to adjust this point. Um, I would love to be able to add a point right here. I am not sure with the direct selection tool. Yes, I can. I can. Mm. Well, I might need to go do some research. I'll be back. All right, so just being honest and not to confuse and frustrate students at home, um, as I'm trying to edit points in here as we would have an illustrator and adjust some of these to make the curves a little better. I'm struggling, um, even after a little bit of a research, so I don't want students to have that issue at home. The goal is not to frustrate you on this assignment. The goal is for you to have fun and use your skills. So we're not going to worry quite as much about this basic shape. So at this point, I am going to give my monster a solid color. So I can select my shape and I can change my fill color so I'm going to flip it to red so I am somewhat matching this and I'm going to change the stroke to red as well oops There we go, I got that to update. And I am going to go ahead and I'm going to talk to you next about moving the antennas and the mount. So for the next part of this instructional video, we want to move our mouth and our teeth into place. So I'm gonna drag my monster body below and I'm gonna bring the mouth over. So I just put a check mark and show transform controls so I can kind of see where I'm at and what I'm doing. And you know, I may need to adjust size. Whoa, that's a rotation. I may need to adjust my overall size a little bit. So now he has a mouth. I'm going to bring his teeth in. I will need to make the teeth smaller.
I'm also going to go ahead and I'm going to change the stroke on my teeth to none and the fill to white. And I'm going to bring each of my antennas down into place. And I'm going to go ahead and turn the antennas to red. Um, let's see. So we can go ahead and make a layer to start on our eyeball today as well. And with that, I am going to use the ellipse tool. I want my fill to be white. And I do not want any stroke. And I'm going to hold the shift key down. That will help it be more of a perfect circle. Oops. There we go. And I can go ahead and move it into place. Um, and I think that this is a good spot for to end day one. So you'll want to take a screenshot of this for day one and post it on your slides. And I will be back tomorrow to show you the rest. Have a good one.